victorious and looking to celebrate with his fans tonight. But up next is Charlie Peters. Line event. It's been another stunning Muay Thai Grand Prix, but is the best yet to come. We welcome back Charlie Peters to the Muay Thai Grand Prix ring. The Bulgarian Sevdalin Slavov stands in his way. Just eight professional bouts for him, but Omar Sam's already proved that experience counts for nothing in this three three minute format at Muay Thai Grand Prix. The fighting pride of South London, Charlie Boy Peter! So the moment then upon us here at the O2, just a momentary lull, but it's electric in London. And away we go then. Well, there's never been anybody in the UK really that's been able to, to challenge him. Charlie Peters is doing so now though. Opens up with a hand. White corner! He's he's a Team Chu, uh, where I'm training now with Phil, I mean, they're a lovely bunch of guys. I used to come up here a couple of times when I could for sparring because they've got such a huge team. And it's great because they've got different abilities. Some K1, a lot of Thai. Right now, statistically, I'm the fittest I've ever been. The kid that I'm fighting, He's going to know who I am, and he's going to want a bit of it. I have many fights, but I don't care about this, because I want to fight with the best. He's coming into my back garden, in front of my crowd. I will do my best, so I will show you what can I do. I to fight with all my heart. I'm going to be going to kick him to death. Knock him out. I want to take it to him. And now Charlie Peters has just found second, maybe even third gear there. And just... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Charlie Peter! I'm ready for anything. I don't care. It's what it is. It's my fight. All right, I'm really excited. You know, so to be able to do it in London, especially now I'm living in London and I've got all my friends in London coming, like I'm really buzzing. It's going to be such a good luck. Здравейте, благодаря всички, които ме подкрепят. Ще давам абсолютно всичко от себе си и искам да ви зарадвам с победа. And now, please welcome to the Black Corner from Bulgaria, Sev Darlene, the silencer, Slavo! Sev Darlin Slavov joining us from Bulgaria this evening. Another country where Muay Thai Grand Prix is really making inroads. In fact, Muay Thai Grand Prix 29 is happening in Bulgaria on the 24th of August. Will it be too quickly for this man to turn it around and do it in front of a home crowd? What an opportunity for him this evening, though, against the home favourite, Charlie Boy Peters. Certainly, I think if he has a big win here tonight, there's no doubt he'll be on that show. Save Darlin Slavov! But he has his work cut out tonight against the veteran, Charlie Peters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the white corner, the UK's number one welterweight Kent's favourite fighting son, it's Charlie Boy Peters! Well, in that pre-fight interview, that was a confident man. Great to have him back here in the Muay Thai Grand Prix ring. It was great to have Alex Bublia back as well, but he was unable to get the victory. 
will Charlie Boy Peters stay composed? 50 professional victories. He looks the picture of relaxation. And at the weigh-in yesterday, he looked in remarkable shape. Absolutely insane condition, that gentleman. But yeah, as we've, as we've already seen tonight, there can be a big upset. Omar Sam came here and showed us he took on Alex Boutlier, 70 odd fights versus seven. Charlie Peters! So nothing set in stone. And this A class Muay Thai rules bout takes place in the minus 67 kilogram division and will be contested over three three minute rounds introducing to you firstly in the black corner at yesterday's weigh-in he scaled 67.3 kilos he's from bulgaria please welcome serve darling the silencer Slavo! and across the ring in the white corner and yesterday's Wayne, he scaled 66.8 kilograms. He's the UK's number one welterweight, a three-time world champion, Ken's favorite fighting son, representing Team 2 Jim in Central London. It's Your referee for this one, Mr. Chris Batteldor. All right, boys, fighters, come on in, please. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules for this bout already. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to my command at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch on gloves. Back to your corners, please. Sevdalin Slavov against Charlie Peters, the final bout of this evening's Muay Thai Grand Prix 28 card. There is the challenger, Sevdalin Slavov, his first fight hey, on a London ready? card. Are we ready? Round one, gentlemen. Watch Charlie on. Peters back for a welcome return. Three three-minute rounds. Away we go. I can't help but feel he's got nothing to lose here. He's taken on a veteran of 65 fights, 50 wins. Slow and steady start, which isn't what we've become accustomed to this evening. Very often, the traveling fighters, we welcome them from all over Europe this evening, has flown out of the blocks. Oh, I think Sevdalin Slavov knows that that could be a mistake against Charlie Peters, who is ready to go. What is it he said in the build-up? He's looking forward to it. He's ready for anything, and it's his fight. I can't help but feel like with uh, Sam earlier, Omar Sam taking on Alex Bublier, we, we commented on the fact that he came out and gave his opponent zero respect took the fight immediately to the more experienced guy and it paid off for him. I can't help but feel that um, Slavov here maybe has given Charlie Peters a little bit too much respect. And waiting a little bit too much, but it's very early days. He is the taller man. So is that reach advantage gonna work in his favor? I like the way Peters conserves energy as well. He knows he's out of range as he lands with a nice right hand through the guard there. And when he's out of range, just plants his feet, no unnecessary movement, just conserving that energy early on in this battle. Gorgeous body shot round the corner. Left hook low, left hook high. Yeah, lovely work. Also, just before that, you saw him slowly put a kick in. Look at the angle, slowly put a kick in and more spun him with the first kick so he could land the second one without him blocking. That was lovely work there, just getting inside the pocket. Moving at angles. It's what Peters did so well against uh, Liam Harrison. And that was, for me, one of the defining factors in that fight was the angles that he used and his movement and how he took Liam off centre. Final 30 seconds approaching then in round one. 
Gnarly Peters fighting in first. Looks heavy with the hands. Nice head movement from Peters there. As the boxing comes in. Looks like he's caught one in the nose early though. Those left hooks to the body. I know we talk about body kicks regularly, but they always hurt. They take so much out of you, those body shots. Everything is so precise and accurate from Peters. Spinning shots coming in from the Bulgarian. And at the end of the first <laughs> round, a wink from Charlie Peters. and some of the replays from that round. He's got those kicks in early, Peters, but it was the hands that impressed me most. There was the right getting through. Yeah, the movement, he pos positions himself so well. There's a great example there. Little Lomachenko moves on the outside. That power they had on that left hook to the body, low kick to the right leg, uh, left leg, sorry. So good. It's just the opening round. So expect the pace to increase now as we head into round two. He's got Evan Jays in his corner, Charlie Peters. Another great win for the youngster earlier on in the card. Okay, be ready, be ready. Round two. Box off. Round two. Charlie Peters. Get that kick away early, those low leg kicks. So sharp with that left hand again. Snaps it round but takes it firm onto the chest before he gets the elbows in. Lovely work there. See him just duck under the arm, take the back. Lovely work from Piers as he edges out to take centre of the ring. Nice hands from Piers. Slab up there, slightly out of range, but just looking to get that elbow working. Just to remind Peters he's in a fight. Never forget, I mean, the early days of Charlie Peters, when he was under the watchful eye of Steve Gladstone at Semtex, he used to knock people out for fun with those hands. He's got dynamite in him, just because he doesn't always use them. And you can hear the precision in those shots. That's the thing, isn't it? It doesn't matter if it's three rounds, five rounds, you don't want any wasted work. Yeah. Look at that, nice and tight. Right, break step away. Break step away. Box. Referee just breaking the action because Slavov popping his hands over the ropes. Sometimes fighters will use that to get leverage to put a really hard knee in and great kick there from Piers. Shin right across the rib cage. Looking, looking in terms of their physical build of a second. Well, that, there is Slabov had his back to us there. Five, I'd like to see the re replay on that, but Peter's coming straight back in. Big shots landing. Straight to the body from Peter's as well. Sensible work. Dumps Slabov to the canvas. And he does not look like he wants to be there. There was no count this time, so Peter's pounces straight back on him. And Slabov quite literally hanging on. Yeah. Fifteen seconds of the round to go. Great body kick in there from Piers. Slavov just like signaling to the back of his head there, but oh, a body shot that drops him. Yeah. Charlie Peters with the right hand to the sternum, and I think that could be the end of Septelin Slavov. Yeah. So over, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie Peters' hands have done it for him tonight. Those delayed response shots to the body are just disgusting.
If you have ever felt that, Slavov will be feeling very sick right now and unable to breathe. Well, he's up on his stool. He's getting some medical attention. But it's been all smiles for Charlie Peters. From the moment he took the catwalk, he looked like he was in complete control of his return to Muay Thai Grand Prix. Yeah, certainly. And look at the look on Peters' face there as we head to the replay. There was that shot right on the button, taking him down. It was the left hook. It was a left hook across the jaw. There's the body shot. Oh, two or three seconds. Nice show of respect there from Peters to Slavov as we head to our Master of Ceremonies, Peter Lowe, for the official results. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please, for both men. But at the end of the second round, your winner by way of knockout in the wide corner, Charlie Boy Peters! And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Seb Dalin Slavov. Well, there you have it, Charlie Peters, the victor, as we head to Dave Rogers for an interview with our winner. Final bout of the Muay Thai Grand Prix 28 card, and what a way to finish. Charlie Peters, welcome home. Woo! Thank you very much. I'd just like to say a massive thank you for Terry Smith and Fun Smith for looking after me for this fight. I'm home. Oh, my God, I loved it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. From the moment... You walked up that catwalk into the ring, the bell goes, you just looked so composed, so comfortable, a smile on your face the whole time. You really enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, baby. Here comes the horse stepper. <laughs> yeah, no, I loved it. I loved it. I had an amazing camp. I had a great nutrition, like I messed up earlier this year, but a great nutrition coach, uh, Justin. I had a great team at Team Chu and my SSC coach, Fletch. Massive thanks to Phil and a massive shout out to Evan Jays because he's been my main pad man. <laughs> Seems like you're part of a great team, both in and out of the ring. Uh, the question everybody wants to know here in London and watching around the world on UFC Fight Pass, what's next? Whatever. Whatever, simple as that. Great to have you back once again. Huge round of applause, Charlie Boy Peters. Well, there you go. Charlie Peters the victor tonight. What a superb performance from him. Just nothing phases him, does it? No, came here to make a statement. Certainly did that against Slavov of Bulgaria tonight with that superb stoppage, with and that shot to the body. And those are the quality of fighters that we have here in Muay Thai Grand Prix. Just look at him, nothing is serious apart from the right and left hands and the right and left foot. They are really serious.